Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best hand mixer. Starting at number 5. KitchenAid Artisan. We've tested this stand mixer quite a few times, and all of the things we've put it through confirm for us why it is a household icon. It's got everything you could ever need in a stand mixer, and if it doesn't, there's an attachment for it out there somewhere. It's our favorite stand mixer out of them all for its versatility. Yes, it whips up stiff and foamy whipped cream and mixes cake batter and cookie dough with ease, but we've made bread dough with it, too, and have been impressed. It kneaded it effortlessly, not even on a high setting, to where we didn't have to knead it some more on our own. All in all, it took a little over 20 minutes to fully finish at a low setting, but that's 20 minutes we didn't have to do it ourselves. If you need more bread at a time, this one may not be for you, as the five quarts seem small. But if you're looking for a machine that can do it all, this is the right one. Coming at number 4. Smeg 50s Retro. The Italian brand Smeg is known for stylish appliances that incorporate up-to-date technology but look like they fell out of a time portal from the 1950s. This compact mixer has a die-cast aluminum housing with a powder-coated enamel finish reminiscent of a classic car, complete with chrome accents and a gearshift-like speed control on the top. It's even available in more than half a dozen attractive colors to match any kitchen and any other Smeg appliances you might own. This model works much like the classic KitchenAid Artisan series, with a similar planetary mixing action, 10 speeds, and tilt head design, plus the same capacity and nearly the same price. Its motor is actually more powerful than the KitchenAid, though lab performance was basically equal. We got well mixed and decently kneaded dough in testing, though it required some extra manual kneading. This was the case with most of the tested mixers. The big issue with this machine is just how loud it is. It whipped cream quickly and with no trouble at all but sounded like a jet engine while doing so. The instructions say not to use the dough hook above speed setting 2 of 10, and the smeg shook violently when we tried it. Still, even with all the noise, it never showed any signs of damage or overheating in testing. At number 3. Wolf Gourmet High. Wolf makes high-end stoves, ovens, and countertop appliances you'd be as likely to find in a professional kitchen as you would in a home one. Its stand mixer is heavy-duty and seriously roomy, with a 7-quart bowl that can handle 8 pounds of dough at once. The deep bowl locks into the base, and then you turn the handle to raise it into place, a very convenient variation on the bowl lift design of many large-capacity mixers. This machine performed very well in all of our lab tests, having no trouble with whipped cream, cookies, or bread dough, in batches large and small. Where other mixers shake enough to walk across the counter on high speed, this one's weighty base stayed exactly where it started. One small feature we really appreciated is that the wolf comes up to speed slowly, preventing it from flinging flour and other ingredients out of the bowl. This was one of the few mixers that were able to completely knead a batch of dough without requiring any manual assistance, but the huge, deep bowl was a bit of a pain. We had to stop and scrape down the sides a few times at the beginning to ensure all the flour was incorporated. The bowl is also hand wash only, while most of the attachments can go in the dishwasher. Number 2 of my list. Hamilton Beach Classic. This little machine combines the capabilities of a hand mixer and a stand mixer, for well under $100. It didn't deliver the very best results in our testing, but it performed better than expected, especially for its price. The included stand mixer bowl holds four quarts, which isn't as big at the machines above, but it was still plenty of room to knead a full loaf's worth of dough. The Hamilton Beach's double spiral dough hooks do a great job of combining liquid and flour to create an even mixture at the beginning of the process, something many mixers need help with. Once the dough forms and kneading begins, however, it's somewhat underpowered. It shook and wobbled around the counter pretty badly, and we needed to do a little extra hand kneading to finish the bread dough, but all in all we got better results than with other machines in the same price range. And number 1. Ankarsrum Stainless Steel. The Swedish-made Ankarsrum looks non-traditional and works slightly differently from other stand mixers, 
but it's specially designed to handle dough with ease. Its bread-making setup includes a roller and scraper attachment that work together to thoroughly incorporate liquid and solid ingredients and then knead them evenly. We noted in testing that this machine's motion is the most similar to hand kneading, and it produced a batch of fully kneaded, ready-to-rise dough more quickly than any other model. There's also a traditional dough hook included, but we prefer the roller-slash-scraper setup. Its dough bowl is generously sized as well, with a 7-liter capacity the brand says is enough for 5 loaves at once. On top of that, the Encarcerum comes with lots of other goodies in the box, including two whisks and a pair of blades made especially for mixing cookie dough. These use a separate 3.5-liter mixing bowl that's also included. You even get a hardcover recipe book. It'll do anything any other stand mixer can do, and there are available accessories for grinding meat, rolling pasta, juicing oranges, and more. Most of the parts are dishwasher safe, and there's also a built-in timer, something few other mixers offer. This machine is heavy, weighing in at almost 30 pounds, but that helps keep it stable on the counter, it didn't shake around in testing, even at high speed. You will need some practice at getting the Encarcerum put together properly since it's set up so unlike a standard machine, though there are helpful videos on the brand's website to walk you through it. The main downside is the price, this is an expensive mixer that's probably only worth the investment if you're going to use it a lot. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.